Hi, honey. Hey, so it's been a while. Did some stuff and handled some family matters and built the shed uh, near my house and, and our, our things. So, but now I'm back and it's autumn already. So it's been, I'm guessing, about a month and a half from the last video or more. Not sure. Anyhow, it's autumn and for the next two days I'm going to be driving around in Estonia looking for patterns, colors, flowing water and whatever I can find. And I'm gonna bring you all with me to my little outing of the weekend. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Hit the notification bell to get notified when the next video is up. And like and comment, so everything is useful for me and, and your feedback is pure gold in that sense. So, thank you. So, as I'm probably 15 minutes away from my first location today, I was just thinking why I had the break after seven first episodes and what kind of happened. And I think I tried too hard to think of what to talk about. And it, in Estonia it's kind of hard to predict the weather. And I didn't find the right conditions to talk about the specific things I wanted to point out. In different problem, problems, let's say, let's get photography in general, aperture, lenses, whatnot. So I just took a river, did some things at home, built the shed, organized a couple of events that were in August and September. And now I kind of I'm thinking that I'm just gonna bring you along on my photography trips and adventures. And if I have any good content in them or specific content, I will bring that up. But otherwise it's just going to be a vlog from now on. If I get more efficient on editing and making the videos and getting better b-roll or something like that in the future I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at least that I'm gonna do more specific videos about let's say camera reviews and then tutorials and really specific helpful videos but yeah at the moment I think I'm gonna stick with uh, the videos that I started with that were basically vlogs that had little tips and tricks embedded inside the video. So hopefully you're okay with that and that's it. All right, see you at the location. So here we are. I was driving around and thinking where to go and what's the best place to get information for new locations are your friends. I made a quick call to a couple of friends and they suggested this place. It's called Perlioja, which is Pearl Stream, and it, it's located in the Lahema National Park and should be a nice stream which is surrounded by a lot of trees and hopefully nice autumn colors and fallen down leaves. So we'll see in a minute. I found the stream. So far nothing special, but it's quite a fun little adventure in the woods as there are no trails or anything similar <laughs> to that here. Let's just explore. Somebody has been here because I can see footsteps and broken branches and grass, but where I need to go, I don't have a clue. So let's continue exploring.
the first location is a bust because it's overgrown the stream is almost empty so the water is really really low and now it's muddy overgrown the leaves uh, on the surrounding trees of the stream are already fallen down and brownish and decomposed so that doesn't work for me i'm heading back to my car and let's go to the next location which is i'm guessing like 10 minutes from here so it's not far so another stop and another stream this is called Basaristi stream and let's see if we can find something better here because yeah the last place was not that great during autumn you usually have colors and as you you can see here it's green it's yellow it's orange it's a million colors in a million ways so try to play with it don't just simply go and and put on your wide lens and do a regular shot find the detail find the tree find the bush find a single leaf on the water or on a rock or just try to separate the subject and play with color Here we are. It's a really nice place. I don't know, maybe it's even better during the morning. But as I'm here for the first time, I'm more than sure that I'm gonna take a picture here at the moment. I'm just trying to find a, a leading line that would kind of walk you through the actual image. And there's a lot of small streams that are coming down from the cascade itself. I don't know. Maybe I'll try one image that's landscape and a bit closer to the cascade and then one which is in portrait orientation and from a bit farther away because if I try to do a landscape image I have this tree in front of me and that one and I kind of would like to not show them so I'd use a landscape orientation and just make a landscape image just from the middle to the cascade so we'll see I'll try to look around a bit and I'll be back when I find my first composition Look at the colors. As the sun came out behind the clouds, now I'm pretty sure that this place is like super amazing during the morning. So I'm definitely coming back here if I have time, maybe even tomorrow morning. But for now, let's just find an image. I was running around for the better half of an hour here and I think I finally found the composition that's pleasing to me. I'm sitting uh, at the same stairs I came down uh, previously on the beginning of the video and I was running around everywhere. I was trying to take an image from there and I was trying to take an image from there and from the front with a wide angle and it did work and 
for a simple reason because there is a tree in the middle of the image and I don't like when trees or branches or things similar to that uh, intrude into the sky but as I am for example here or there somewhere the problem is that I'm so much lower than the tree itself I'm gonna kind of shooting up at it and it protrudes to the sky and for me it disrupts the 3D effect of the image and it's kind of like something is going out, out of the borders so I don't like to do it it's kind of the same thing there I don't like when branches come in from the sides of the image if they are not for example perfectly like surrounding the image like small little matchsticks but anyways uh, I'm doing two exposures of the image one is going to be at f2.8 or f4 something like that and the other one is going to be with a uh, huge depth of field, the uh, f11, f13. I'll try what works. And I'll be at ISO 64, the native ISO for my camera. I'm not using the polarizer at the moment, but I'll try different variants of it. And actually don't need anything else. Probably a polarizer will come into the mix. But I'm gonna take a couple of different images from this location and I think I'll show you the one at the moment which one I chose and I'll put the information the f-stop shutter speed somewhere right left left right somewhere along with the image enjoy So I think that's it for today. I really like the image that I got. Hopefully you do too. And I like the colors. I like the a bit of, a bit weird composition. And after three or four weeks at home, I really love to be outside again. So hopefully tomorrow I will find enough uh, subject matter to do another episode about autumn, autumn colors, and patterns and different interesting things so but today I'm gonna head back to my parents place and tomorrow morning early I'm gonna wake up and go out shooting again so thank you for watching as always if you like the content hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up hopefully you will have a great week and hopefully you have as much of autumn beauty as we have in Estonia at the moment and if you do Post your links, I would love to see your work. So, see you next time.